I'm Carter Sneed, the director of the Center for Ethics and Culture. The Center is the primary engine that drives Notre Dame's pro-life efforts on campus and off. One of the Center's signature initiatives for building a culture of life is the Vita Institute, essentially an intellectual boot camp for leaders of the pro-life movement worldwide. The Notre Dame Vita Institute is an intensive interdisciplinary training program for leaders in the national and international pro-life movement. Through engagement with our premier faculty, interaction with other pro-life leaders, and exposure to award-winning community outreach programs, the Vita Institute aims to further enhance participants' expertise and prepare them to be even more effective advocates on behalf of the unborn. Well, it's a very intensive program. It's, it's just one week learning all these different facets, whether it's social sciences, medicine, law, and at the same time, there's a lot of opportunity for the students, for the attendees, to learn from each other as well. There's meals together, they go to mass together, time for discussion, time for learning about each other's background. And so there's a lot of mutual education among the attendees too. And it's all packed into one week, which is really pretty remarkable. They do go very deep in every subject. This is not just going to be a course about, you know, this is the arguments and this is what you say and this is how you do it. This really goes to the core of why we believe what we believe in every subject you have, like biology, theology, philosophy, law. And I think it's very important for you to reflect deeply why are you involved in this kind of work. It's great to be at a conference and for people to be um, fired up about the conference and fired up about the cause. But then you go back to the world that you live in and it becomes a question of how to walk out the vision that you have and how to articulate the vision that you have for pro-life. Um, and in that case, what I'm finding is that people at the conference are talking with each other about exactly how to do that. And I, I've been blown away being here. Uh, the people that are here are, are phenomenal. These are real movers and shakers in the pro-life community. This is the most incredible group of people literally from all over the world. It's not national, it's not regional, it's not national, this is international. Notre Dame has found itself at the heart of the pro-life cause and promoting human dignity and justice. Well, I think uh, the, uh, the faculty is great. I mean, the members of the faculty are great people, uh, experts in their field. And I think uh, the participants, I mean, for me, has just been great, you know. Aside from the fact that the faculty, you know, stimulated me intellectually, the meeting other members, you know, other participants from different parts of the world uh, means a lot to me. There are so many people, especially young people, who are committed to the pro-life message, who are interested in working in the pro-life movement and knowing what niche they can fill, uh, but who don't have the in-depth understanding of the issues and they would like to have it. A lot of colleges and universities and high schools, unfortunately, are not going to teach them these things. And so it's an opportunity to really uh, learn more about the reasons why uh, th these issues are so important. I think it's important to have it at Notre Dame because Notre Dame is a university that has become known as having its own uh, great collection of faculty in, in ethics and theology, philosophy and law who do understand these issues and uh, has a Catholic identity so that people can feel comfortable coming here and talking to each other honestly about, uh, about their convictions. Coming out of the Vitor Institute, I am coming out with a certain confidence that we are doing the right thing. We are fighting for the right cause. We are putting exactly the right effort where it needs to go. So I will leave here with confidence. I will leave here with more strength, more inspiration, with more zeal, and of course a bit more skill as well, if I might say, in, in pro-life advocacy and in the pro-life work. So it's gone a long way to enriching uh, who I am as a pro-life advocate.